Sup, war here, got another NU UU battle. Against a guy I found on Cerebi chat. He told me he had a uh, Militic on his team, which uh, got me a bit worried because I'm, my, I'm really weak. My teams are weak against water, water walls, but uh, whatever. Here we go. So he leads out with Lapras. I lead out with my Empipon, the cunt, and he uh, fake outs because that's what Empipons do first turn. And it does it does a fair bit considering Lapras is uh, pretty chunky. And uh, I low kick for the super effective, hoping for the kill, and I was pretty sure it would because of um, my ability plus the life orb. So uh, he brings out Absol, and I'm like, alright, oh, I'll add speed, whatever. Absol's pretty slow, 249 max speed or something. And uh, he super powers, and I'm like, I knew right there, then right then and there that that, um, that Absol was scarfed, because no way it would have outsped me. So I go out to this guy to uh, even though super powers are super effective, it wouldn't done much. So uh, I go to this guy and I just earthquake. And uh, he uh, said it was misclick, and uh, which obviously was because Magmortar just got raped by my penis. And uh, so he brings that Militech, the water wall that I was uh, fearing the whole time. And I go out to my special wall, and I should have known it toxic because it's what Militechs do. And I sh could have gone to my um, Earth Swing here and started setting up, but uh, it turns out to actually have actually not been such a bad move. So I. And right at the stage, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to hypnosis, put this Militech to sleep, and try and set up my Earth Ring on this Militech. Because I know that even though it's, I seem super effective, um, sp pretty special, pretty big special wall, I can take it. So um, I hypnosis, second one lands, which is good. And I switch out here to my Earth Ring, to, uh, so I can keep Cress as a, um, I mean, Noctowl as a um, as death fodder or something later on. So I go to this guy, he gets first turn to sleep, which, um, which is pretty much... I, meant that uh, I could get a Swords Dance up, and uh, second turn to sleep with my one Swords Dance, and I was like, hmm, should I risk the uh, poison building up and give, go for a second Swords Dance, and also risk him waking up, and I did, and it pays off, so uh, I double SD for Sade, stab, quick feet, makes, my, makes me fast as shit, and uh, that's going to obviously KO him. But now this is my third turn, so poison toxic is going to start to hurt me a shitload. And uh, he bought this guy. Hopefully, he was wanting to dodge a facade, obviously, but I carry crunch to uh to fuck stuff up like that. So uh, it goes down, and uh poison's really toxic's really hurting me now on the fourth turn. So he goes out, uh, goes out to this guy for the um scarfed revenge kill. I thought he he could have sucker punched or super powered, but uh he went to super power. He probably should have. I don't know. Yeah, he, uh, he told me later he had psycho cut. He probably should have locked himself into that, but uh, whatever. So he just I bring out this guy to um reduce this the um to give him minus two attack, so that I now that he's uh done two superpowers, his attacks weakened a lot. I can get a free switch to a Steelix, and uh but he switches that anyway. So I proceed to earthquake the Reggie Rock, uh because it's super effective, and it's uh Reggie Rock's a bit of a wall as am I, and because I'm because I'm faster, I know that um three earthquakes are going to kill it, and three earthquakes from him are going to kill me. And uh, I'm going to come out on top of this battle. So he messaged me saying, oh no, here comes the Steelix Sweep. And I'm just like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. So uh, he Earthquakes again. Obviously, because that's... Uh, oh, I was thinking it's a bit late to be setting up my Stealth Rocks in this game. And it would have been, uh, been a dumb thing to do. And I was really glad I didn't at the end of... And um, I'm glad I didn't set up my Stealth Rocks. And so... I still have my uh, Steelix. I'm 3-1 up at the moment, and he's got his last Pokemon, Absol, and he decides to lock himself into Superpower with his Scarf. I thought I would live it, but then I um, then I think about it, I'm like, yeah, Absol, like 350 max attack, plus uh, it's being super effective, I'm still going to die. So I go to this guy, and, um, and I'm just like, WHAT THE FUCK?! I exploded there because I thought perhaps my Scarfed Espeon might not outspeed Absol, and that our uh, signal beam wouldn't kill it, so I was like, I'll go for the safe move and just explode in its face, which I did, and I won. So, uh, yeah, GG to that guy. It was a lot of fun.